Aloha, beautiful people. Happy Friday. All right. So yesterday I was 173.2. Today I'm 173.6. Too soon to panic? I want to panic. And only because I've made a goal. <laughs> See, if it wasn't for that fucking goal, I wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> That's why I hate setting a goal. But it's too soon to panic. I'm not going to panic till, when I say panic, I mean like a couple of weeks before the 31st. If I'm not where I think I need to be to meet that goal, I will have to start doing some fancy footwork. <laughs> if I care that much about getting to the goal, I don't want to act like I don't care. And if I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. You know that's pretty much how my brain works. <laughs> It's not, it's not that serious, but I have set a goal. I've spoken the words, you know, I've made a commitment to myself and to anybody watching this video that I will reach goal by the 31st of October. Oh, wow, things are going slow. <laughs> so, and I'm, I'm still like, what am I like? I don't know. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> like nine pounds away from being able to eat again, if I stick to that. It don't look like I'm going to be able to stick to that because I'm going to try. I'm still going to try. But not having a meal and then doing a five mile and going to the gym for two hours. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot day before because I don't go I if I don't eat and I do my five miles I can just suck it up and get through it right but on the days that I do that and go to the gym for a couple hours and because I'm you know I'm not like in their beast mode you know <laughs> lifting hundreds of pounds of weights but it is all new to me and I am lifting weights so it's a lot. Those days are a lot. So I always, I'm talking in the past, I've always liked to, the night before I know I'm going to need to do my five miles and go to the gym, I like to always eat that raw meat, you know, the evening before to give me that little bit of energy or what have you. Um, Or even like when I come home from the gym, you know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try to hang in there and not and stick with this stale. <laughs> I'm so tired. I can't even talk right. I'm going to try and stick with the scale feedback. I'm going to try. But if that scale keeps hanging around like that, yeah, I might have to. I might have to break that. Um, I don't think, because I'm trying to look at the numbers now, and I don't think, because I went so long trying to stay in that mid-170s range, you know, uh, to, to just maintain, like that week that my grandson was here and whatnot, I was trying so hard to just stay in that thing possibly my body might have made a set point at that weight I don't know we'll see but um, like I say too I'm not panicking it's too soon to panic so we'll see but as far as the refeed you know am I gonna stick to scale feedback I don't know cuz I you know I'm still feeling a little Not as bad as yesterday. Uh, yesterday I was a bad. Uh, but just, you know, a little low energy. I'm not as bad as yesterday, but still a little low energy. So, we'll see what happens. Um, and I may or may not eat raw meat Sunday night. I just have to see how I feel, y'all. Um, I'm not going to... Of course, I'm not going to do something just because I said it. And I'm not feeling 
up to par, right? Especially if my game plan is to continue to do my walk and go to the gym. I have to, you know, I have to have that energy. I have to feel strong. So it's like walking a tightrope. I need to, I feel like I need to eat that raw meat so that I can perform well with my cardio in the gym. And at the same time, I got to get this fucking weight off. Um, so if I do decide to refeed, it'll be raw beef. Hopefully that's not too detrimental to the weight loss part. Um, but again, if I feel that's what I need to do, then that's what I'm going to do. And if I make that decision to eat, it will be Sunday night. Raw beef. <laughs> um, yeah, so today was fine. You know, walk was normal. It was good. Um, I'm not, even though I'm low energy, I'm not draggy. You know, like my my walking time isn't suffering at all. You know, I'm right on point. In fact, I'm a little ahead. Um, Jim, super good. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I feel it. I feel me starting to become really, I almost use the word addicted, but you know what I mean. I'm really getting into the gym now. Um, and the more, the more I go, the more I, force myself to learn the different things in there and all the different little toys, weights. <laughs> um, the more exciting it will be for me, you know, so it was really nice. Like I say, he taught me that exercise yesterday. So today I did it by myself, meaning I set the bar up by myself. I put the weights on it. I got it from the rack to the floor, you know, so on and so on. So to do my, uh, my, I don't know, some people call them hip thrusts, some people call them uh, glute bridges. And from what I understand, I read an article that said, although people use the term interchangeably, they're not the same exercise. So, so I think what I'm doing is glute bridges. Um, yeah, so I was able to set the weight up myself, get it to the floor where I needed it. Um get the exercise done and put it back, re-rack it, put the weights back where they belong. Yeah. So that was good. Jim was good. He, uh, Mr. Personal Trainer <laughs> corrected me on some stuff today because, uh, cause you know, he knows I'm having problems with my knees being sore like the day after I go to the gym on my rest day my knees are a little sore and he knows I was, my lips and tongue just ain't working today y'all he knows I have problems with my knees so and my shoulders he knows all my pff, bullshit my aches and my pains and stuff so whenever he sees me doing something <clears throat> Of course, when he sees me doing something wrong, you know, shitty form or whatever, he corrects me. If he sees me doing something that he sees me doing and then he's like, ah, no wonder her knees are hurting. <laughs> He'll come over and correct me. He's a great personal trainer. Um, and he, he helps me a lot, which is amazing considering the fact that I don't pay him. <laughs> but, you know, if he's not working with a client, he's just hanging around the gym and I guess that's his job is to help those and he likes it he said he likes helping me because I'm receptive you know I'm I'm welcoming to his help he said a lot of people in there aren't receptive they, <laughs> they don't want to be bothered they don't want him correcting them or telling them what to do or whatever so he says, you know, if he tries and they, he, they're not receptive to his help, then he just, he won't ever help them again. <laughs> Understandably. But, um, yeah, but he helps me a lot. I truly appreciate it. I told him that today. Like, I know he doesn't have to do that. He could just stand in the corner and look cute, you know. But he's always correcting me and helping me and 
and he did you know he gave me some corrections today um, so because I today I decided I because he's wanting me to do those squats because at the but at the end of the day just normal everyday squats for me are a pain in the ass they're hard I can't I can feel like I can't get them like I can't you know when I get down into the squat I feel you know balance wise I feel off balance and you know I just I feel like I'm not doing them right and then when he's standing there and I tell him you know I just feel like I'm you know I'm not doing them right and he says well show me what you're doing and I show him he's like yeah you're good but in my head I'm thinking I'm good because in my head I'm thinking when you squat I guess I watch too many <laughs> YouTube videos or something in my head when I'm thinking a squat automatically I picture a squat as in ass to the grass type of squat right so and I can tell when I squat that I'm not getting super low I'm definitely not ass to the grass but I don't even feel like I'm getting at a decent low but when I show him my squat he's like yeah you're good but in my head I'm feeling like no I feel like I'm not low <laughs> But he says, I'm good, and it's all about getting those legs at that 90 degree angle. He said, I'm good. He says, your, your uh, 90 degree angle isn't going to be somebody else's 90 degree angle because, you know, our bodies are different, la, la, la. And he says, but if you're thinking in your mind that you're trying to get ass to the grass, he said, I don't think you should be thinking that. He said, just that's just not for somebody and you got bad knees and stuff he said so you need to get that out of your mind just do your squat to the very best of your ability and he said from what I can tell you're you're good just keep doing what you're doing and if you do them every day you'll feel more comfortable with them and you'll get better and better at them so whereas I got frustrated with my squats and I kind of pushed them to, to the corner and I started doing those wall squats and then the uh, the leg presses and stuff um, because I got frustrated and he was like well don't you think if you're having a hard time with something those should be that should be the exercise you concentrate the most on which it was like duh yeah <laughs> which I'm surprised I didn't do that because I'm so stubborn um, that I'm surprised I didn't say well you know this is really hard but fuck it I'm gonna keep trying because that's usually how my brain thinks but he turned that light bulb on for me so I was like yeah and he's like you know he said if I was uh, training you he said I would tell you give up the wall squats give up the leg presses and just concentrate on the um, your regular squats until you're comfortable and feel good with it which I really love my wall squats and I mean that's only three leg exercises wall squats regular squats and leg presses and then I guess you can consider the glute bridges, you know, because you're using your uh, quads and your hamstrings and your glutes. So that's kind of a leg exercise. Um, why not? Why should I just do one freaking leg exercise? So I'm going to continue to do all of it. <laughs> and he saw me doing the leg presses, which... I've kind of, you know, just because I started having problems with soreness in the knees and soreness in my shoulders and stuff, I gave up one uh, upper body machine, which was, I, I guess, shoulder press or something, because that was causing me major shoulder problems. So I gave that up, and then all my other upper body, shoulder, arm, whatever, instead of doing heavy weights, I just do lightweight 
and then I upped my reps. Yeah. And that's been working out. I've not had any issues since then. Thank God. That was a good decision. And I was doing it on the leg press. I was doing a little bit lower rep because I noticed every time I did leg press, you know, like I would suffer the next day with my knees. So I decided to go a little bit lower and just up the reps. And I've been doing that for a couple of weeks. And, um, and you know, he suggested today that I do the opposite, that I go a little higher weight and drop my reps way down. Because right now I'm, which I agree with that, I feel like I get, could do higher weight uh, leg wise, muscle wise, I feel like I can handle a whole lot more weight. It's just the knees. So he was saying, he was showing me how to, because he was saying the way I was doing it, because I was, I was pumping them out quick, right? And he's like, no, you need to stay in control and go a little bit slower, pause at the top, pause at the bottom, pause at the top. He said, you know, when you're um, trying to pump them out like that, he said, you, it does put more pressure on your knees. Um, whereas if you just stay in control, you should, you know, it should, you should feel it more in your muscle. And then he caught me doing a no-no. <laughs> and I was doing it and I kind of, there was like a little voice in my head that was kind of telling me, you probably shouldn't do that. But I did it anyway, which is when I do the leg press, I'll do my reps, and then on my last rep, instead of putting the weights down, I'll keep my legs out and just hold the weights up for my rest period, for my 30 sec second rest period, and then I go again. And he caught me. <laughs> and I've been doing that a while. He's like, he's like, when you do your rest, he said, I need you to put the weights, you know, let the weights down. Don't hold your legs out and hold the weights up while you're resting. He said, when you rest, put the weights down, take your rest, and then go again. He said, because that's putting, he said, although when you sit like that, you your muscles might be resting, he said, but all that pressure is now on your knees, he said. So it's kind of understandable why you do this exercise and then you go home and your knees hurt. <laughs> you live and learn, y'all. <laughs> so, oh, so, learn some stuff today. Um, and, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, just him watching me, like, he wasn't, like, standing there watching me, coaching me or nothing. But that leg press machine is, like, right there where their little office is that they stand at the computer and whatever it is they do so he can see out the window and the machine is right there so unbeknownst to me he was <laughs> watching me sorry to keep rubbing my face y'all so sorry um yeah so i got a lot of good corrections today and i'm just feeling really good with the gym now so i'm sure Pretty soon here, it's going to become an addiction, just like my walking. Um, but yeah, but it makes it hard to do it, you know, to do my five miles and then go to the gym for a couple hours. Because I used to go to the gym for like an hour, but now I'm, I'm like really fo trying to stay focused and really concentrate and do everything really good and what have you. So sometimes, you know, I'm there an hour and a half, two hours. Um... And especially like today, it was super duper crowded. So like, <laughs> and th this part is just because I'm picky, but I have a routine. So I kind of like to do my routine the same every day, you know, everything in order, <laughs> my OCD. So it was really crowded today so that just wasn't going to be possible so I had to like work it on this machine and then when it was time for that machine I couldn't because somebody was on it so I had to go find something else in my routine that I could do and like a lot of the stuff people were already on it and uh, I was like I'm gonna be here all day 
it's very rarely that away, but what's happening now is in my little retirement community town, all them, okay, I was going to be mean, and I think I'm still going to be mean. All those fucking snowbirds from up north <laughs> are now showing up. I don't know why. Ain't it early? It ain't snowing up there yet, is it? <laughs> But yeah, all the snowbirds are starting to trickle in, y'all, and it's it's already showing. It's showing at the gym. It's showing at Walmart. I mean, you can tell they're already uh, coming in. But yeah, gym was busy, so it took me a while to get through my routine because all the little snowbirdies were there. Anyways, got it done. Feeling good. Um, thank God I'm not as low energy as I yesterday. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. That's it. That is it. And we'll see what happens. This weekend. I don't know what's up this weekend. It's supposed to be good pool weather, so we'll see if I might do some <laughs> funky stuff this weekend as far as trying to get this weight uh moving yeah anyways that's it i'm out of here i'm having a good day i feel good i can't believe how late it is y'all it's three o'clock usually i've made my video and i'm already rendering it and loading it to youtube by noon time <laughs> but had to walk had to go to the gym neighbor needed to go to the store took neighbor to the store i had to run an errand go get my dog's flea pill i pff, came home had to take some care of some business downstairs in the office and then y'all <laughs> what really took a lot of time was guess what i did y'all I finally took my measurements but I know you already know that because you can see the picture right um, yeah I finally took my measurements so that took a while I had to take my measurements then although I think I've been telling the story that I've only taken my measurement one time since I started my weight loss journey that was a lie <laughs> I went to uh, my fitness pal and I've actually taken it with today being the fourth time. So that's good. Um, so yeah, so, and then I was like, oh, okay, so I've done it four times. And, you know, I was like, okay, well, how can I show this in my vlog? I'm so computer, not computer illiterate. I'm good with the computer, but like when it comes to like, I want to do this and I don't know how to do it I want to <laughs> I want to make a chart on the computer and then that way I can share it in my blog and I all that how to do all that oh my god y'all I'm so I'm a, I, I feel like I'm like a two-year-old I have no clue when I'm wanting to do stuff like that you know so it took me forever I had to figure out I mean, if I had uh, Microsoft Word and uh, all that, uh, Microsoft like, Office, I guess you could say. I don't have it. I can't afford it. <laughs> so, and I know there's supposedly free versions of everything out there. Like, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so all I wanted to do was take that information off of my fitness pal all the numbers put it into a little chart for you guys and for me that I could take that picture of that chart put in all my the numbers and share that picture of that chart in this video um, yeah it took me a long time to figure it out you guys and because I haven't edited this video yet 
I can't 100% say it's going to work, but I think it's going to work. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. I had to, I didn't even go tell y'all what I had to do. Took me a while. That's why it's three freaking o'clock. <laughs> I need to go take some classes. That's what I need to do. If I can find some free uh, computer or I don't know. Uh, not that that would do me any good because a lot of this stuff would be really easy if I had Microsoft Office. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Anyways, I just got bit, y'all. Right there. I don't know what it was. Maybe a skeeter. All right. But anyway, you see the chart. Um, and as you can see, um, the first time I weighed was uh, March of uh, 2017 because I started my whole weight loss journey in February of 2017. So those measurements in uh, March of 2017 were fairly pretty much at the beginning of my journey so that, you know, they're good numbers um and I'm, I've lost lost a lot of inches y'all I think I added them up I think total inches I've lost six like 61 inches um the only place I've not lost too much and there's a reason behind it is my arms because well I did lose a lot um, 17, 18, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Four inches off of each arm. That's a lot. But I guess what I'm trying to say is when I take the measurements now, they're not true measurements because of all this, right? Like, all this skin is in the way. It's annoying. For sure, it's annoying. But, like, when I took the measurements, I, I, I'm admitting I squeezed it a little bit to kind of make up for all this. I shouldn't have to measure this, y'all. <laughs> but, man, I was showing that personal trainer today. I'm like, really now? If I could just get rid of that skin? You know? Like, just get rid of the skin. I can actually see my muscles now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at them guns, y'all. <laughs> yeah, so... So, of course, this takes up room. All this skin takes up room. So, when I do the measurements, it's I'm having to measure a big wad of uh, skin, too. Rant over. <laughs> but I'm proud of the numbers, you know. It is what it is. At the end of the day, I'm going to get to 130 pounds, and I'm going to have a shit ton of loose skin. It is what it is. We'll address it at that point. I'll never have the money to do surgery, so I'm just going to have to do a lot of dry fasting and see what I can do with the... I might, you know, that's why I'm... This channel, although I may, you know, once I hit goal, there will be no need for me once I hit goal to post every single day. I'm not going to give the channel up. You know, I'll probably post like once a week or something once I hit goal. Um, and I'm in maintenance mode. Um, but I'm not going to give the channel up. I'm still going to be in maintenance mode. And I'm going to be doing a lot of things with dry fasting. <laughs> but if I want to help my loose skin, I have, I'm have i going to have to bite the bullet and, you know, find ways to incorporate dry fasting to help with my loose skin as much as I can. You know, I mean, I know I'm not going to be able to dry fast it all away, but as much as I can, I, I'm going to try my best to do that. And yeah, and like I say, it, it didn't really bother me at this point. You know, I'm not 20 years old. I'm not out there trying to find a man and get married and all that stuff. So, you know, I, you know, the fact that I got all that, it, it doesn't bother me. It really doesn't. You know, like I still go to the pool, I still wear a bathing suit, you know, and, and I've got loose skin on my legs and everything. Um, I keep, well, original game plan was when I reached 150 to redo my pictures, you know, like, and like do a little collage thing so you guys can see the progression up to date. Um, but I really want to wait till I'm 150 to do that so you 
you know, the pictures are drastic, right? Um, but yeah, but when I do my pictures, because, you know, I'll be doing them in my bathing suit, you know, you'll see I've got my arms, my legs are pretty bad, even on my calves, because, uh, because when I was, well, whenever you're that big, you know, you're fat everywhere, you know, even your feet get fat. I don't have loose skin on my feet, though. <laughs> but even my um, calves have, like, a little bit of, like, loose skin. I'm anxious to see what they look like when I reach goal. I've always had big legs, y'all. And what I mean by that is, like, like, in high school, when I was at a decent weight in high school, I never had typical girl legs where they're you know, nice thighs and the nice shapely calves and you know I never had that I've always had <laughs> even when at a decent weight I always had my legs were I don't know I don't know how to what I don't know a good word to use but they weren't like that they were more Thick. Thick? I don't know, y'all. I'm going to start rambling here, I think. Um, but, yeah. So, you can see the numbers in the chart. <clears throat> I'm, ha I'm very pleased. I'm proud um, of everything. Of, you know, the inches lost, the weight lost. And I'm just excited to get to 130 pounds. Anyways, I'm done. I'm going to get out of here. I'm ready to rest. I can't believe it's this late in the day. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I don't... <laughs> Sorry. As soon as I started doing my clothes out, the dog jumped off the couch like she was going somewhere. Maybe she's like, oh, she's done. Yay. It's a smart dog, y'all. But anyways, yeah, I, I should be here tomorrow. I can't promise. When it comes to the weekends, like, I just play it by ear. Sometimes I'm here on Saturday. I'm hardly never here on Sunday. You can almost count on that. Saturdays, I'm kind of, meh. I'm kind of wishy-washy. Kind of how to see how I feel. But I'm out of here. Have a great weekend. Keep fasting. Stay strong. Hang tough. And I hopefully you'll see you tomorrow. Mahalo.